so that's how these three people, Chotu Samjadi and Mata Gujari Ji, really has the test, most difficult test that anybody would have to face, right? Did they change their religion because of money? No! Okay, did they fear death? No! Alright, so remember all these things. Why oh Guruji Ka Khalsa? Why Guruji Ka One of the guards went to tell Mata Guruji Ji, but don't forget that uh, both Sarjadas um, are no more. They've been killed. And Mata Guruji Ji said that uh, did, you, did, they, did they say anything? Did they do anything? The guard said, no Mata Ji. We wish that they had done what Wajir Khan wanted them to do. They could have been alive and you would be set free too. But then Mata Guruji Ji thanked Vaidu and uh, she was really satisfied that these two young children didn't change their way of thinking. They stood strong, they were firm and they stood tall and fought against Wajir Khan's really pressure and they remained six and then she said Vai Guruji, Tata Bohat Bohat Shukra Shukra Tata Bohat Shukra Do you know what Shukra means? Yeah. Thank you, thank you Vai that, that, that these two sons of Guru Gobal Singh Ji Bhattar they could get the respect and honor of the faith one, one night so she, remember she was very very you know in a difficult situation so moment she did this adas Thanking Vai Guru, she kind of left this war. Uh, passed away. Passed away. She, she, she was no more. And the guards saw that she suddenly she was sitting and suddenly she just um, so went down on one side. And they went and told Ujir Khan that Mata Gujri is no more either. So that's how these three people, Chotu Samjadi and Mata Gujri Ji, really has the test, most difficult test that anybody would have to face. Right? So, Hanji Bita? Um, when the guards cut off the Chote Sajjad's head, how did they cut it off? Like, 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 like a cut? Or like fully cut? Well, like, like cut, cut enough to cut away the blood supply, you know? But, uh, you know, the history says that uh, by Baba Jorawar Singh were lived for two and a half minutes after they cut off his you know, neck from here where the jugular, jugular is right here which blood supply to your brain and he died at two and a half minutes later but uh, Baba, Baba Fateh Singh um, was bleeding for almost 12 minutes and his legs stopped moving after 12 minutes. So he lived a little longer than Baba Jorawar Singh. And uh, you know, when, when somebody- How long did Baba Jorawar Singh Like two and, two and a half minutes. So just imagine, it's, it, you know, when they, when they cut off your kind of this blood supply, blood supply it, your brain can be alive for a few minutes and then it dies. So that's what happened. But the main thing which I want to tell you is that when this happened, there was this guy, his name was Todarmal. Does anybody know anything about him? Everybody, everybody needs to pay attention. So this guy, he was, he was a, a local businessman, a very rich guy. And his house is still there in Fatehgarh Sahib, in Sarhan. If you go there, you can see this big, huge building, but it is now kind of broken down. Yes. I went to put the car side. My cousin lived there. Okay. And I saw the Gurdwara there. Yes, that's where Chote Sahib Jade um, were wait, killed. Wait. Yeah, but, I saw but the this, bricks. I saw the bricks. Yes. So this guy, you need to remember, his name is Todar Mal. Okay. His name is Todar Mal. And he was a very rich guy, but he rich? loved, yeah, he loved Guru Gobind Singh Ji. And he was there when they were ready to break him, break both Sahibs that they are alive. He said, he pleaded to Vajir Khan. He said, Vajir Khan, please let these two guys go. Whatever money you want, I'll give it to you. 
But you can't say no. I'm not going to let them go. They can change their religion. They can become Muslims. I'll let them go. But then after both Sahib were killed, Totermal said, can you do one thing at least, one thing, one good thing, Wajir Khan said, what? He said, at least let me cremate the bodies of these Sahib with full respect. So Wajir Khan thought for a minute, because he was such a greedy person, such an evil man, and uh, he said to, um, even in this very difficult moment, in a very sad moment, this guy is thinking very evil, like evil thoughts. Ooh. He said, Wajir Khan, he said to Todamal, okay, you can cremate the bodies of Sahib How much space do you need? He said, well, you know, I'm going to have to create a space for both bodies to be separately uh, cremated. I need at least, you know, um, whatever space you would want. I mean, like at least have like a, up to this part of the wall, like here. So Vajit Khan said, okay, you can have that much space, but um, there's one thing you have to do. He said, what? He said, I want the entire floor of this area to be covered with gold coins. Can you imagine gold coins? That means thousands and thousands of dollars. Like one gold coin is thousand dollars. Yeah, one gold coin is very, very, even at that time, it was very, very expensive. So he knew that this guy has a lot of money. So he said, if you give me that much money, just put the whole area covered with the gold, whatever the gold would require to cover it. I don't want to see even an inch uncovered. I don't want to see even a small bit of the ground to be seen. I want everything to be covered in gold. If you do that, I'm going to let these two bodies be given to you. Otherwise, we're going to cut them in different pieces and put them on a wall so that everybody knows that those who don't listen to me, they will see themselves like this. He is so greedy. He was so greedy. And guess Daddy. what? Yes. And then Todramal, then because he was a he was a devotee, he loved Guru Gobind Singh Ji. So he um, said fine. He called his servants, bring all the sacks of gold from my house, from you know wherever we they used to keep their money. So they brought all the sacks of gold and they put it on the on the floor. And Vajir Khan said, "Okay, guards, collect all the gold, put it in the sacks, take it to my palace, and then Chote Sajjadas and Mata Gujri Ji body was given to Todermal, so he can cremate them with respect." So did Totermal have dollars left? No, 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 it was gold. Oh, and then, uh, uh, then when he gave all the gold coins, did he have any gold? He, he still had some left, but Bajir Khan later on um, also killed him and his family. Why? How? Yeah, because, you know, again, he was such a, a revengeful guy that he kept in his mind that this guy is actually a supporter of Guru Gobind Singh rather than my supporter. So he should not stay alive. And he also killed uh, Moti Mehra. You remember oh, Moti yeah, Mehra? Yeah. Moti Mehra was like the servant of I mean, like, Yeah, the guy who... Of Mata Gujji and the two. Yeah, the Brahman who brought milk, right? Yeah, I remember. Yes. I don't know very nice to no. Khan, Wajir Khan. <laughs> Yes, Bajir Khan wanted to eliminate anybody and everybody, whoever said they love Guru Gobind Singh or they want to support Sajjadas or they want to support Sikhs, anybody, because he did, he was so revengeful, he was so mean, yes? That's right, after, because Todamal, Todermal didn't know that Vajir Khan is so bad that even after taking his all his money, he was gonna come and kill him. So his house, Todermal's house, which is now half broken, I can I visited that place. I will show you that picture of the house. But uh, where you were, was it half um, uh, half broken when you were there, or yes. it was broken? Oh. Yes. Right now it's like um, you know. It's, it's uh, only a few walls of that palace is there. But you could see how that palace must have been 
such huge, big one, and it is still standing. Okay, the, the, it's almost three hundred years. Are the gold coins still there? No. Maybe if somebody were to go down, dig deep, they might find some treasure there. We don't know. But uh, nobody goes there. Nobody just keeps it very respectful. Now they're trying to preserve that, so people like you or your children in future will be able to go and see the history by themselves. Yes. Did the people got too old to die? Huh? Did the people got too old to die? They just died. But but we'll talk about what happened to Bajir Khan. We'll talk about that. So then somebody uh, is sick. Uh, Guru Gobind Singh Ji was resting in a in a forest area, and somebody ran and the sick wanted to give this news to Guru Gobind Singh Ji. By that time, Guru Gobind Singh Ji had arrived at another place called Damdama Sahib. This is where he was resting. I went there. I went there. Yes. Okay, very good. So some, this Sikh went and said, Guruji, I have a very bad news to tell you. Guruji, Guru, Guruji kind of already knew. He said... Because he was God. He was like 100% the um, same as God. Yes. So he already knew. So, so he wanted to hear this from the Sikh. The six there, Chote Sahib Jadas are no more, and Mata Gujri Ji is also gone. And Guru Sahib was, Guru Sahib had his arrow in his hand, and he took out his small sapling of a tree from the ground. He says, just like this sapling is taken off uh, from the ground with, with its roots. So why would he, he do that? He, to give an answer. Oh. He says, this is how the Mughal Empire will be gone. The, they have already um, put the uh, nails on the coffin of their own kingdom. And my six will rise and give them the fitting answer. So that was a prediction that Guru Gobind Singh Ji predicted, right? But then Guru Gobind Singh Ji also needed to now bring the communities back together, give them all the strength, he had lost all his four sons and his mother, right? But he was still, did he say, Oh, I uh, enough of this, I need to rest. I don't want to take this anymore. Did he say that? No. So he, he did he say that I have, I have lost my sons. What's the point of living now? Did no. he say that? No. no. I've lost my mom. There is nobody to take care of me. I'm 42 years old. I might as well just take rest and, you know, uh, let let six deal with their own problems. No. Did he say that? No. So listen, Tarunvi, stay there. <laughs> so okay, back to okay, back. This is not a bedtime. So listen. So then Guru Sahib, Guru Sahib did a greatest thing for us. Do, do you know what he did? Five. Listen, remember. I mean, remember. So Guru Sahib said that. Um, where is Guru Granth Sahib? And some people said, Oh, the Guru Granth Sahib is with this Guru, this guy. They don't let us read it. Nobody has the copy of Guru Granth Sahib. Because at that time, only few Guru Granth Sahibs were present, right? So Guruji said, Hmm, that's a big problem. He said, I'm going to make a new Guru Granth Sahib right here. So he asked Pai Mani Singh Ji to come there. And also Baba Deep Singh Ji was there. He said, no, he wrote Guru Granth Sahib Ji. He wrote, I mean, he asked him to start writing Guru Granth Sahib Ji and he included the Bani of ninth Guru into the Guru Granth Sahib and completed it, right? And for two years, he gave training again to Sikhs how to become strong mentally, physically strong, psychologically strong, spiritually strong, to read Gurbani, right? So after that, Guru Sahib Ji went um, to the South India and that's where he uh, met with this very strong guy. His name was Madhav Das. Oh, very good. So anybody tell me anything about Baba Banda Singh Bahadur? Baba Bandha Singh Bahadur has had his eyes burnt out of his pockets. That's, that was later on, later on. Yes? Um, 
was, but he was very strong. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, 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 his, his son's heart was taken out of his body, and then it, it and uh, if it moved, the witch thumped. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so this guy, remember, so within a year, okay, it took him almost a uh, year and a half to reach from where Guru Gobind Singh Ji uh, left the world. Okay. And he came to uh, Punjab and guess what? He, one city after another city, they captured and finally, you know what they did? He killed Vajir Khan. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Bhattar. He dragged him out of the palace. He said, now I will show you how you, what you did to our Sahib Jatas. And all those two guards, the one who bricked uh, Sahib Jada alive, no, Baba, Manda, Manda, uh, Baba Manda Singh Bahadur killed them too. So that's how uh, Sikhs became strong within few years after Sahib Jada Shahidi. Within two years, the Sikhs had the first kingdom, first Raj. Okay? And Baba Manda Singh Bahadur started the first coin in the name of the Gurus. Can you imagine? Wow. So, yeah, there was a there was a coin started by. So let me ask you. Who? Um, who? Um, wait, I, I, I who have Baba. Um, who is Baba? Who, who is Baba Singh Bahadur's dad? Oh, we don't know. He, they, he came from Kashmir. But how and, did um, he? How did he come in the second movie? Oh, because he is the one who, who was kind of, who met Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji and became the general of the Sikhs. What's general? General is the commander, the person Command. who commands the, the, army. the army. Yeah. And I, I, ha I have a coin that has been gone for it from India, uh, from Pakistan. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. wow. So tell me, tell me what you learned from this whole thing, like whole five days of lecture that we've discussed. What did you guys think? Um, what, what, what is something so strong that you learned this week? Yes? Wait, wait, I said that in my yes? Ajit will never give up. Ajit will never give up. And what does Juravar mean? Huh? The person who is strong has strength. Okay? Strength. Yes? And Jodhavar? I learned was that to always be a jeep and never be a chicken. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Here. Hey, 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 hey. There's chicken. Six, seven, yes. Chicken. yes. Yes. What did you learn? Very good, very good. What did you learn? I learned that um, Bibi herself, God, she was like just um, five years, years old, old, younger than Baba Ji. She and older than Baba Ji. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And she what? And she um, and she she was thinking in her mind that I want to like do a sister like to do Yes. Her mom loved her so much yes. and she didn't want her to get killed and then she said um, her mom that her mom said the Mughal army said that um, that and no one helped the six or something like that. Yeah. And then the baby, baby, baby her son said, no, uh, I'm going to, um, like, you know, brothers, I'm going to have my Yes, they are my brothers. And then, yes. um, and then they, um, uh, Himat. Himat. And, listen to him. And, and then, um, um, she put a fire and while she was walking, it was completely dark. It was like one o'clock, midnight, and then um, she was like walking and um, touched everybody to see if this is 
sick or Mughal and how she knew was maybe because of the um, long hair and kara and, and kara yeah. yes very good very good Tejbi yes Ekas let's hear from her That's right. Not be a chicken. Uh, Hello, here, Mama. I have a question. Uh, yes. Yes. What's your question? Yes. 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 Always oh, giving just enough for them to that be. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna yes. Madam Ramat, pay attention. Guys. Oh, listen to her what she guys, said. Guys, guys, yes. Almost Very good. Okay, wonderful. I'm so proud. So let me let me read a few lines for you. Do you think uh, Sahib Jadas were weak and no. not brave? No. no. They were brave and fearless, right? Did yeah. they were they scared of anybody? No. 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 Right. Okay. Did they stand for their faith? Yes. yes. Did they stand for Sikhi? Yes. yes. Or did they say no? I can I I can change my religion. I don't care. Okay, right. Did they were they full of ego and snobbish, and they thought they were the best people? No. no. How would they behave with others? Respectful. 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 Respectful responsible, dedicated, and safe. Yes. With a kind heart and always being nice to others. That's right. And did they respect their own parents? Yes. yes. Because if they did not respect their parents, himat. Did they, did they respect the Guruji? Yes. yes. So what Guruji said, and let's say what Guruji will be talking, will they be doing all kinds of drama or doing up and down things? No. They'll be paying attention to Guruji, right? Yes. Okay. Did they, did they fight for rights of the weak people? Yes. Yes. Okay. Did they bow? Did they do Matha Deko other than Guru, Guruji? No. no. Did they bow to Ajir Khan? No. Did they bow to the guards? No. Yes. No. No. Not to the guards. I got to the other. Did they, did they bow to, did they bow to Mata Gujri Ji? Yes. Yes. What? Yes, Mata Gujri Ji, their grandmother. Yes. Yeah, because she, right. she was great guru. Did they change their religion because of money? No. Okay, did they fear death? No. All right, so remember all these things. Oh my God. Why did Jika Khalsa? Why did Jika Khalsa?